Welcome back to the series of soft genetics webinars on mutation surveyor software. The focus of today's webinar is learning how to create and manage a user knowledge database of known artifacts and false positives. Mutation Surveyor's user knowledge database can include your commonly deleted mutation calls to use for tracking across different projects. This can help minimize manual inspection time by automatically flagging or even deleting calls that are known to be false positives or sequencing artifacts. Deleted mutation calls can be added to your database as either a false positive or an artifact. Add a deleted mutation call to the database as a false positive to have that call tracked by its chromosome coordinate. Add a deleted mutation call to the database as an artifact to have the call tracked by its chromosome coordinate and relative trace location, which may be more helpful for tracking calls that occur near ends of a trace. Database contents are displayed in the Variation Tracks pane of the Graphical Analysis display, with false positives and artifacts displayed as separate tracks. In order to utilize the user knowledge database, a whole human genome must be imported and the project must include a GenBank file with chromosome coordinates matching that imported reference. Reference import may require additional hardware capacity. We recommend a 64-bit operating system and at least 12 gigabytes of RAM and 200 gigabytes disk space. Let's get started. First, make sure a whole human genome has been imported. This import process is completed through the Reference and Track Manager tool. This tool can also be used to select which genome build is selected for your project. Please view the Reference and Track Manager tool webinar for more information on the import process. Next, we need to ensure that our project has chromosome coordinate information. This is done by using a GenBank file with chromosome coordinates relative to the same build of the genome that was imported. If working with Build 37 of the human genome, you can use the GenBank files automatically downloaded by the software under default settings. Otherwise, GenBank files will need to be downloaded from the NCBI website and loaded into the project. Our webinar, Downloading GenBank Reference Files for Mutation Surveyor Software, reviews the download instructions. Now let's take a look at how to enter a call into the database. This can be done from the graphical analysis display or from any report that allows mutation call deletion. Right click the call you wish to add and from the context menu that opens, select delete and add to database. Please note that this option will only be enabled when the human genome has been imported, the project contains chromosome coordinates and only a single mutation call is selected for deletion. A pop-up window will appear. Check the box next to Add to Database. Use the drop-down option to categorize the deleted call and then click OK. The mutation call will be deleted for that sample and the track for that particular deletion type will be built and displayed in the Variation Tracks pane if this is the first time this type of call has been added to your database or the track will be automatically updated to reflect the newly added false positive or artifact. A green tick mark will be placed at the location of the deleted call. Hover over the tick mark to display the call information. To change the settings for how to handle mutations in your project matching your known deleted calls, click the Variation Track Settings icon located in the top toolbar. Click on the track for which you would like to adjust the settings. To have the software automatically filter any matching variant calls in your project, first, on the right pane, check the box next to at least and keep the value to the right as one. Next, click the box below to the left of count. Use the drop down and select the option for how you want the count to be treated, and then enter the value which will serve as a threshold for how many times a call must be made before it will be filtered by the software. For example, greater than one means a mutation call identified more than one time will be automatically filtered from the project. Next, click the report display link to open the settings for the annotation to display. The two options at the top are to display track group, which in this case is UKDB, and to display track name, which would be either false positive or artifact depending on the selected track. 
For the false positive track, select the box next to count to display the number of times the deleted call has been identified. For the artifact track, the relative read position can be displayed in addition to the count. Click OK when done. Click OK again to apply your settings to the project. Calls that were manually deleted and added to the database or calls that were filtered by the settings will still be displayed in the mutation table of the graphical analysis display but will be grayed out. Filtered calls will be indicated as such in the actions column of the table. The annotation column of the mutation table will list the information you selected in your settings. You can also set whether or not these tracks are to be automatically queried for each project. To adjust these settings, open the Reference and Track Manager tool through the Tools menu. The UKDB tracks will be listed in the bottom pane of the tool with the currently selected default query option listed in the default query column. To change the setting, right-click anywhere on the track row and use the Set Default Query option to make your selection. Close the tool when done. Manually selecting or deselecting the tracks for query in a project can be completed by going to Process, Query Reference Tracks. Use the checkboxes to adjust which tracks you want queried for the particular project and click Run Query when finished. This will open the Variation Tracks settings where you can adjust the filter and display settings previously reviewed. Please view our webinar, Application of Annotation from External Databases to Mutation Severe Projects to learn more about working with other variation tracks. This has been a short video on how to use Mutation Surveyor software to create a user knowledge database for known artifacts and false positives. For more information or to request a free 35-day trial, please visit softgenetics.com or send an email to info at softgenetics.com. All technical inquiries can be sent via email to our technical support group at tech underscore support at softgenetics.com. Thank you for watching.